guys, welcome back to Let's Cut That. Today I have my mom with me because we will be making the mole that she knows how to make. Hey, un mole no negro, sino un toquecito de, ni tampoco totalmente dulce. Es medio rojito y poquito dulcecito. Yeah. So, in other words, it's not going to be that dark, sweet mole, the traditional mole that everybody knows. It's kind of more to like the red mole with a little touch of the sweetness, but it's really, really good. And she's done it for many, many years. And everybody that has tried it actually likes it. And she teach me how to do it. Now we're going to do it together. So our ingredients today is chicken, of course, because we're having chicken mole. Right here, I cooked chicken breast and some drumsticks. And the chicken breast, I'm actually gonna shred it because they like it shredded. The drumsticks, I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like that. And then we have two teaspoons of mole paste, like the Doña Maria one. You could get the normal one, the mole, that says straight mole on there. Two teaspoons of the mole paste, two garlic cloves. I have chocolate abuelita. It's to make like the sweet um, hot, hot drink, the hot chocolate. But okay, we're only gonna use this tiny little piece. And then we have the Chile California. We have about eight of them here. And then we have cumin, which is gonna be just a little bit. Chili powder, that is gonna be how you'd like it, but I'm gonna measure what we're gonna put in it. I'll let you know how much I put in it on the description below. But this is what gives it the spicy taste. And then we have the breadcrumbs. I use Italian style because it does give it more flavor. And we have the chicken broth, two, um, two cups. Okay, so it's time to blend our ingredients. The Chile California, just clean them, take out the seeds, clean them, wash them, and you're gonna blend them in like that. No need to cook them, nothing like that. So we're gonna go ahead and put in our chilies. We're gonna put our chocolate, our garlic, our paste, we're just gonna throw everything together. And then, it's about half, half a cup, so we're gonna go ahead and, this is gonna make it to get more like thick. So this is three fourths, so I'm gonna put a little bit more because I couldn't find my half a cup, okay? And then, the cumin, mom said a little bit, like maybe two pinches, así está bien? Mm -hmm. She approved it. So just a little bit of cumin, guys, probably like about two pinches. Don't put a lot, you don't want to do that. And then the chili power. No, un poquito más de comino. Oh, a little bit more comino? She said a little bit more comino. So I put a little bit more. The chili power. Dime cuando pare, o por lo mido. Dale, dale. She said to go for it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So it was maybe like three teaspoons. Three teaspoons, and then we're gonna add our chicken broth. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. We're gonna blend it until everything's a blend very, very well. continue to blend. Okay, so we did blend it for like five minutes and my mom kept on saying un poquito más, un poquito más for the chicken broth. So I ended up putting four cups of chicken broth. So pretty much put your ingredients and fill it up with your chicken broth. So now that it's blended, we're gonna go ahead and try it. For me, I like it. It has a very good flavor. At this time, you may wish to add more chili powder, or if you think it's too spicy, you could throw in a little bit more of the maria, the paste, the mole paste. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use more chicken broth, put it on your pan, no oil, no nothing, just let it come to a boil. So 
So don't throw away your chicken, your chicken broth when you cook your chicken. The way I cook my chicken was with um, garlic cloves, like three, half an onion, the salt, and the um, bay leaves. I put two of them. That's the way I cook my chicken. It comes out really good. So we're gonna go ahead and let this come to a boil. Okay, so once it started to boil a little bit, the chicken broth that we put, we're gonna go ahead and straighten our chili that we blended. And it's just for all the little ex extra of the chili that didn't get blend well, so it won't be in your dish. So we're gonna go ahead and straighten it. And then we're gonna bring it, we're gonna lower the, the heat so it could simmer. And we have to keep on moving it constantly, moving it and moving it, and to see um, the thickness that you desire that you want to get. I also think it will burn. Yeah, if you don't move it, it will like get stuck and burn. So, so once we do that, see all the chili. You don't want that in your in your food. So we'll put this on the side. So we're just gonna keep on stirring it and stirring it. And if you think it's too thick, you could add more chicken broth. If you think it's too like watery, just once it simmers, it's gonna get thick. It, it, get, um, it gets thickened. So we're gonna go ahead and let that to get a little bit more thick. Green. So just stir it and wait until it gets more thick or like, you know how you desire the thickness. But make sure you stir it because if you don't stir it, the bottom part starts getting like, like this. Because if you don't keep on stirring it, it does get clumpy. So you don't, you don't want that. Once you're ready, that you like it, the thickness and everything, then we're going to go ahead and add the chicken. And then we're going to go ahead and let it um, come to a boil again with your chicken. So the chicken can get all the flavor of this delicious mole. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, our chicken breast that I already have shredded. The kids like it like that because it's easier that they don't have to deal with the bones or anything. Don't shred it too much, like try to leave it like in a little bit to like bigger chunks. And then, um, or you could do just the thighs or the drumsticks, whatever you want. Go ahead and coat everything, cover it all up with your sauce. There's still a little piece of bone. Oh, it would have found it. So then we're gonna go ahead and add for the ones that do like drumsticks. We're gonna add our drumsticks. And then we'll just let it simmer a little bit more. When you see it coming to a boil, it's ready to serve. Look how good it looks. So as you can see, it already came to, um, started bubbling up. So that means it's ready. It smells very good. So if you don't mix it fast, oh, you already moved it. Oh. Like the little corner that was there, it's because she wasn't mixing. Yeah. And keep in mind that every time you reheat it, if you reheat it in a, in a pan, it does get thicker. So that's why... Um, before putting your chicken, you want it, if you want to save a little bit of your chicken broth, just in case before you add your chicken, it looks pretty thick. It won't be as thick or mole. It's actually thick, but it's all depends how you like it. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and I'm going to show you how to serve it. So our mole is ready and I will show you, here is one of the drumsticks. I have a breast. And then you could just get more of the sauce and throw it over. And you have your mole. You have your mole done. Now, if you want to eat it the way my family enjoys mole, that I told you they like it shredded, this is what we do. We get the amount of mole that you want. She says she's hungry. So I'm going to give her a little bit more. <laughs> I'm going to start serving Marlene's plate. And then we have our Mexican rice. And if you want the recipe to our Mexican rice, we will leave the link below. 
as well so you can see one of the videos of how to make the Mexican rice and our macaroni pasta salad it goes very well with um, the mole and there you have a complete dish and it looks very yummy and it's very delicious if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment share subscribe if you guys do this plate or do the mole whatever go ahead and leave the um take pictures you guys send us the pictures on the instagram page which everything will be down listed below and i will make sure um we put the measurements for the ingredients because you know mexicans moms are like a poquito poquito mas a little bit more like this they don't measure anything so hopefully you guys um like this video and thank you for watching and see you next time on let's cook that